Uh, you know, I know I'm going to take them. That's why I could have walked away and not taken your question, Peter. But I want to take your question. I'll make it worth it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you will. Different topic. Okay. How come migrants are allowed to come into this country unvaccinated, but world-class tennis players are not? Are you you're talking about which world-class tennis player? Novak Djokovic. So, as far, <laughs> you know, just to just since you asked about me about him, you asked me about him. So visa records are confidential under U.S. law. Uh, therefore, the U.S. government cannot uh, discuss the details of individual visa cases. Uh, due to privacy reasons, the U.S. government also does not comment on medical information of individual travelers as it relates to uh, the tennis, uh, the tennis play, uh, player. Look, uh, those the questions regarding vaccination requirements is, 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 I defer you to CDC. This is a CDC uh, requirement for foreign nationals. Uh, this is something that they decide. Uh, this is, uh, so this is something that is up to them. The U.S. Open and their participant protocols, I refer you to them. They have their own specific protocols as well. But so they're two different things. They're two different things. But so are, how is it two different things? Somebody unvaccinated comes over on a plane, you say that's not okay. Somebody walks into Texas or Arizona unvaccinated, they're allowed to stay. But, Why? But that's not how it works. Yeah. Like we actually no. Well, I know that that's not what you guys want to happen, but that is what ha what is happening. But that's not. It's not like somebody walks over and <laughs> that's not that's, that's not how. That's exactly what's happening. We well, thousands of people are walking in a day. Some of them turn themselves over. Some of them are caught. Tens of thousands a week are not. That is what is happening. So let me just lay out what we have done under this administration. We have installed new border technology and set up joint protocols with Mexico and Guatemala to catch more human traffickers. We have already made over 3,000 arrests in the first three months of launching an unprecedented anti-smuggling campaign with regional partners. We've secured record levels of funding for the Department of Homeland Security. We've put in place dedicated immigration judges so asylum seekers can have their cases heard faster. We've expanded lab labor pathways, including H-2B visas. And through the Los Angeles Declaration on Migration and Protection, President Biden brought 20 leaders, world leaders together uh, to manage increased migration flows across the Western Hemispheres. By contrast, core to the prior administration, immigration strategy was to build a wall, and they couldn't even accomplish that in the four years. And they also, by talking about building a wall, which would have taken billions of dollars from veterans, billions of dollars from, from schools, uh, which is also a policy that just does not work. It is not that simple. It's not just that people are walking uh, across uh, across the border. We have a, we have a, a plan in place. Uh, this is not like switching the, the, the lights on, right? This is going to take a process. Us. We are fixing a broken system that was actually left uh, by the last administration. And as it relates to the tennis star, that is totally different. That is a different process. That is the U.S. Open that he is part of. And there are CDC uh, federal guidance oh. that he is he needs to follow. But why is there a CDC requirement for people that fly here as opposed to people that cross the southern border? Look, we have talked about Title. We have talked about Title 42, right? This we not, have. This has nothing to do with Title 42. It is. It, title is, 42 is the CDC uh, imperative. And that you is. Guys got rid of it because you said the pandemic. That's not, not that is that anymore. is not how it works. It is not every Title 42 is very much in place, and that is the process. So there is a CDC, uh, there is a CDC provision for uh, folks coming through uh, coming through the southern border. It is not just uh, it is not just for tennis players. Uh, in, migrants have also a CDC guidance that we have to follow, which is Title 42. So that is not the case. That is factually wrong.